Hi guys, so in today's video I wanted to take you guys through how you can make Boundless's default menu a little bit more um, aesthetic and also more functional. So Boundless is a free theme on Shopify. It's it's quite a good looking theme as far as the rest of the uh, theme goes, but I, I find that the menus are, are very bare bones and very um, just not great to be quite honest with you. So we can see an example of this here. I have my test site pulled up. And you can see when we hover over our mouse on these menu items, there's no drop down that pops up. Um, unfortunately, they haven't coded in a drop down. So to code in a drop down, if you guys already don't know how to code, you definitely have to hire a developer to do that. But what I'm going to give you guys is sort of like a happy medium between those two things in this video. So uh, if you look, if we click this catalog, right, it'll take us to a contextual menu here. And then once we're in this catalog, we can navigate back and forth between the, the main menu and this contextual menu. But we can't actually click this other catalog because once we do that, uh, it'll take us to another page. What we're going to do is we're going to basically take this feature of this contextual menu and we're going to put it on the home page so you can just always be hopping around between menus and whatnot. And so that's going to look like this. So you can see that here I have... Um, visual feedback as far as when I'm when I'm hovering over with my mouse and when I click a catalog it'll pop up with the two options or if I click this catalog it'll pop up with these options if I mouse off of this it'll pop these back down or I can click this back arrow and it'll take me back to the main menu so to do this it's gonna be really simple for you guys I already have all the code that you're gonna need I've copied into the description um, just make sure before you uh, before you go ahead and get started, make sure you download your theme file. You're going to click this button here and Shopify will send you a theme file download link to your email. Make sure you do that because if you mess anything up, you're going to want to back up. So once you've done that, we can go ahead and click edit code here. And it's going to bring up our files here. You guys want to open up two files here. You want to open up the sections folder and go ahead and hit uh, open up action bar liquid and the other thing that you guys want to open up is the assets folder and open up theme.js liquid okay so once we have these two files open you want to navigate in this theme.js liquid file um, yours you want to find basically this line and mine is on 150 uh, no no 1153 I think if I have this remembered correctly, yeah, so 1153, this open sub nav from nav item, this function here. You just want to make sure you're in this place, guys. Make sure that you're you're in this like theme.cache dot whatever. Um, make sure you're here. Don't don't go messing around with like anything else because you might break your site. Go ahead and press control slash, and that will put the this double slash here, which comments out this line of code. What this is going to do is it's basically going to not have this function handle when we um, when we click one of these. I already have a function that's going to handle that instead that you can just copy into the actionbar.liquid folder or file. So we're going to navigate back to this actionbar.liquid file here. You guys are just going to copy paste all the code that I have in the description. You want to get the script tag and the style tag. And you're just gonna copy paste them here. So once you've done that, just go ahead and click save. Make sure that theme.js.liquid is also saved. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and refresh my site. And now it should, let me close the preview to make sure we're on the most current version of my site. And so now um, you can see it has the features that, that we were talking about before where it gives us some feedback when we hover and it also gives us these contextual menus and we can go into the second catalog now we can go into the first catalog and these links are going to go to where they should go this one goes to google this is just a test site guys obviously so that's how you make your menus a little bit prettier and more functional and boundless uh, if you guys enjoyed this video i'd appreciate it if you leave a like um, what i do on this channel is basically i make videos about um, how you can build your, your Shopify brand and also how complete uh, people who don't know how to code at all can start to learn how to get into the, the code of their site and really like make their site look the way that they want to look without having to download apps that slow down your site and cost a monthly fee. The other thing guys is until I hit a thousand subscribers I'm giving out free consultations each week uh, to random subscribers for their Shopify brands. Um, if that appeals to you, you have to be subscribed to be eligible, so make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.